Farm Fest 2008 in Redwood County, Minnesota is one of the largest events bringing people in the agricultural field together. The corn and soybean plants, new tractors and equipment displays attract farmers. It has been a tough year for Minnesota farmers. Food and gas prices have fluctuated wildly, making the economic outlook uncertain. It's also been an up and down year for politicians in Minnesota, so Farm Fest has become an important campaign stop as a way to connect with rural voters. U.S. Senator Norm Coleman, a Republican, is waging a re-election bid against Democratic challenger Al Franken and independent candidate Dean Barkley. Coleman appeals to conservative voters like Mallory and Megan Wenzel. They are identical twins, raised in a farming family, and are voting for the first time this year. Probably because I think Norm has a little heads up on him because he's been in office before or whatever, yeah. but people trust him, but yet people also want to see what the new guy could do probably right. too. So change can be ways. Change can be scary, I guess, too, if people are already used to what Norm has done, but I guess opportunity if Franken gets nervous to see what he has to do also. Right. Change is a central theme in the Senate race. Franken maintains that Coleman is closely linked with the unpopular policies of the Bush administration. In an interview with VOA, Franken, a former comedian, explained why he links Coleman to President Bush. And he voted 98 percent of the time with the White House in the first year he was there. And he's done everything they want on the economy. He's voted for every Bush, Bush budget. He wants to make permanent these tax cuts to the richest Americans, even at a time where we're running these enormous, enormous deficits. Coleman dismisses Franken's claims. And I don't think the just kind of attack, 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 you know, running against George Bush is going to get you elected to the United States Senate. But Coleman has also used attack ads and messages targeting Franken's sense of humor. In August, Coleman got a boost when his state was the site of the Republican National Convention, nominating John McCain for president. But since then, the economy has become the top campaign issue and voter attitudes towards Coleman's negative ads have turned. Coleman has seen his lead over Franken evaporate. Franken now leads in the polls, buoyed by voters in urban areas such as Minneapolis and St. Paul. He plans to continue linking Coleman to George W. Bush. So I think that there's going to be uh, a lot of reminder that this is, uh, this is four more years of the Bush administration that we're looking at. And uh, so maybe I think this is uh, probably good for me. You know, he, he's got to do what he's got to do. Uh, but I just think in the end that, that people, particularly in times when people are concerned about the cost of energy, concerned about keeping a roof over their head, concerned about health care, they're going to be looking for optimistic, uplifting leadership that has gotten things done. And that's what I am. It is still a three-way race. Independent candidate Dean Barkley is trailing both Coleman and Franken in the latest polling data. But his presence may have helped Franken close the gap with Coleman, observers say. Democrats hope to place Minnesota in the win column on election night in their effort to strengthen their control over the U.S. Senate. Kane Fairball, VOA News, Minneapolis, Minnesota.